We live, baby. We live. You should clear out. Clear is a dangerous place to wander. Those radiators fixed. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regular. Thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sublevel. Do you have spent all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff? It's all pretty worn though. And the unemployed. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess, but it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Right. 
right. In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Hold on. There's something you should know before you go charging off. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. scheduled advertisement for the following story. Spacer's Choice calls rumor of a Saltuna shortage patently baseless. The Edgewater Cannon facility is operating at full capacity and will be delivering the gourmet Saltuna fillets and other fish-based fine products that valued employees crave. Spacer's Choice representatives would like to assure everyone that they are committed to people, factual advertising, and automation. This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All the news is fit to broadcast. Here they come.
Do what you want, I guess. Here they come. <laughs> yeah, it did. Rock on. on our hands. Uh. Here's a little trick I learned in prison. Oh, shit. Huh, haven't seen any new faces down here since I arrived. Not sure how long ago that was. McGred tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Yeah, get out of here. So I can do some stealing.
Yeah. We can move on to cleaner pastures. Return and in one piece, color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA and bring weapons. There's a slight man to pillar infestation. More than a few, less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. If every repair was a one-woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able, though, you've proven to be. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you.
Here we go. Sometimes violence is the only way. regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful brands and products. Military service does not guarantee full employment rights, tax breaks, military discount, health benefits, military burial, participation medal, training, or weapons. This has been Halcyon News, your only source for news in the Halcyon Call. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts. But you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gaying, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. You must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean. Which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who could answer the tough questions for me. 
Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I yelled at that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. You've got my attention. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. I know she's in there. And... Is it just me or is Groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to help yourself to a piping hot frozen dinner. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. Heard of it. My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. If you did, that'd be good, actually. They could use the help. And if you do, please don't mention us. I'd have to go over my contract, but... I don't think I'm allowed to leave Groundbreaker. Or this stall. <laughs> so, what can I get you? Some soap. Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. Uh, have a look.
Have you tried our dehydrated water tablets? Just add air. Don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Make a choice. Spacer's choice. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our Consumer Care Headwear Division. Oh, I'm having a stellar day. And not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the Spacer's Choice catalog, which is available here at a reasonable price. Spacer's Choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time, but we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat wash, mouthwash, and mantle floss are among the exciting line of dental goods currently in development. Don't miss out on these deals. You'll find none like them on all of Groundbreaker. Or anywhere in the Halcyon Colony. Trouble sleeping? Try our Lunar <laughs> Eclipse Mix. That's two handfuls of pep pills washed down with a hearty swig of two-hour energy brew. The blast will send you through the stratosphere and the crash will knock you out gold guaranteed. Add an additional 10% to your purchase today, and the proceeds will be donated to Spacer Cares, our premier corporate welfare program. At Spacer's Choice, we care about your health and emotional well-being. That's why we put Martin through six years of vendor school, only to make him wear this hat. Even if my contract didn't forbid it, I think... Uh, I think it's part of me now. Now, are you ready to make Spacer's Choice Lunar Green Moon Mouth Lozenges a part of you? Lunar Green, the future is Spearmint. Mm -hmm. You would never ask if you knew what it's like in here. <laughs> I mean, uh, why anyone can be a Spacer's Choice Consumer Relations Choice Specialist. Just keep your nose clean, and aim for the moon. I, uh, you know, damn it. No slogan for that one. Uh, look, this hat, my job, it may not seem like much to a brave space captain, but they're all that I have. If there are self-made purgatories, then we all have to live in them. Mine can be no worse than someone else's. Now, if we're done with the chit-chat, I hope you don't mind if I make the most of this short life and try to be the best moon person I can be. It's fine. I should be stronger than this. Thanks for taking an interest. Speaking of interest, can I interest you in some quality budget goods? At Spacer's Choice, we cut corners so you don't have to. Anything and everything. Whatever you want, we got it. And when you need a replacement, we got that too. Just the opposite. Spacer's Choice items are always new, hot off the shelves, because customers just can't stop buying new stuff. Oh, sorry. I got the line wrong. Y you want me to do it again? It's a script. If I don't follow it to a T, I might lose my job. You want me to do it right? Okay, customer's always right. Thanks. Moving on. You could go broke buying overpriced Aramid gear, or you could buy from us at a much more reasonable rate. 
That's why you should get a backup for three. Become a frequent buyer. Join our friendship rewards program. Yes. Program currently unapproved in Alpha. Rewards and friendship pending. Is it gettable? Huh? Is it gettable? Like that, I mean, that's how it is, right? on it and I decided if you ain't killed McRed yet I want you to hurt him a little before you do nothing excessive mind you but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off tell you that, did he? I might have kicked his ass from one end of the groundbreaker to the other a few years back. Whatever he reads into that is his business. <laughs> Which one? Good news, I believe I'm growing fond of you, bounty hunter. If you got the Mardettes backs, the Mardettes have got yours. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. With that bastard McRed dead, there ain't much else in the offing. Not that I'm complaining, mind you.
We got trouble. I use this route. Right, dang, at least we had four bedrooms, thirteen. Right. Shit, five. For all that. Right there by both of our moms. <laughs> What? Easy does it. What was that? Incoming! Is it hers? Look at that. Look at Better be low. Other stuff. 
lot. Mm -hmm. We don't even know. The same. But you know, you should know. What do you think you're doing? I don't want any trouble. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Got it. His name is... Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, oh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit card he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. I'm not going anywhere, you hear? 
You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. I'm expecting our delivery fellow to stop through with medical supplies and service auto mechanicals. Name's Captain Erion. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Surgery mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Sorry, am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. You say that like it's weird. Like I said, Jesse did me a favor and now I owe her one. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? Like the level-headed folk that we are. 
Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. Oh, laws. Wait, don't gut me and skin me yet. Please, talk to Bedford. Tell him I can pay, um, a part of it. And I'm a useful person to know. Just ask Ellie. Surely you wouldn't drag me before him. I'm dreadful contagious. I just know if I face him, I'm dead. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Udom Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. Here is our board prop. Ah, the board. Organized, efficient, competent. You will do well, mostly. Following story. I think everything in here is worth more than... Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has... Something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer?